Sure. Three, two, one. Good evening. Thank you for joining us for KCY Fox 9 News. I'm Anna Hayes. The Arizona Department of Economic Security has a new way to have people report online for unemployment, and that change has people here in Yuma waiting for hours at unemployment offices in the scorching sun for benefits. KECY Fox 9 News reporter Mauricio Marin has the details. Marin, sorry. All those clouds today led to a quick shower this evening. This is video you're looking at right now from about 7 o'clock tonight in Yuma. It was hot and humid and the rain seemed to stop as quickly as it started. But will there be more? Here's Carlene Chavez with a quick look at your local forecast. The Yuma community had the chance to talk with U.S. Senator John McCain at a town hall meeting this afternoon. Senator McCain hosted the event along with Arizona Congressman Jeff Flake and Paul Gosar at the Yuma County Public Health District Auditorium. People who came asked the Republican politicians questions about immigration, jobs, and even the economy. Senator McCain, Congressman Gosar, and Flake all agreed the government needs to reduce its deficit. McCain advocated for sequestration, meaning automatic spending cuts, or says help won't be available for future generations. The government wants you to get out and vote, and that's why Yuma County Recorder's Office is extending its hours. It will be open this Saturday and Sunday from 8 to 5. This is a great opportunity for registered voters who can't make it out next week to be heard. Jewelry and firearms are among some of the items stolen in a ring of burglaries in the foothills of Yuma. Reporter Vanessa Herrera joins us now with more on the targeted area and why. Vanessa? Newly released statistics for Arizona drivers in 2011, not good compared to the previous year. The Arizona Department of Transportation released their crash facts today and they revealed that motor vehicle deaths rose nearly 10% last year. One third of the people killed were not properly restrained. Alcohol was involved in over 30% of the crashes and 4% were fatalities. ADOT says the speeding is the most common cause of crashes. ADOT, ADOT Director John Halikowski said that drivers need to buckle up, drive at a safe speed, and never drive while impaired. They also need to avoid distractions while driving. The man who barricaded himself inside his home for several hours after allegedly shooting at the mother of his child was seen in court today. Gerard Guajardo is facing one felony count for aggravated assault. His bond was originally set at a half million dollars and was asked to be lowered to $100,000 by prosecutors. His bond was reduced to $200,000 and he remains in jail tonight and is scheduled for his arraignment next week. Here's a look at what's straight ahead on KECY Fox 9 News. Traveling to and from Mexico may be a bit easier thanks to a new radio station. And local Marines are home tonight after a long deployment in Afghanistan. You're watching KECY Fox 9 News. Stay with us.